school is definitely out and summer is in, what with the hot weather that we have and the rotating blackouts. And of course, when it is summer, people would start thinking, where should I spend my vacation? Whereas there are also people who would want to wonder, where can I earn money? Dynamic Living, the total you would like to invite you, dear viewers, in the next 60 minutes, as we try to discuss here the grit and glory teen summer jobs and of course I am very much honored to have with me our friends from the City Hall. We have here Miss Kathleen Kate Sorilia. She's the PESO manager designate. Good evening Sayo. Good evening Doc. Good evening to all the viewers who are watching right now. It's good to be here. Yes of course para naman maingan niyo yung mga kabataan you know na maisip nila na oops meron pala pwedeng gawin on the summer month. No? Mm -hmm. And of course andi dito din po ang ating manager Sa McDonald's no? or Rama branch, we have Miss Sharon Valmores. Good evening sa iyo, Miss Sharon. Yes, ma'am. Good, ev uh, good evening and good evening also to the televiewers. I'm, from, I'm Sharon Valmores from McDonald's or Rama. And you can visit us anytime. Opo, not just with, but also to get employed yes, temporarily. Of ah, <laughs> diba? And of course, and dito din po ang head sa Jobs Placement Europe, Peso Kagen de Oro. We have Mr. Ray Tagutongan. Good evening sa Sir Ray. Good evening, Doc. Uh, good evening po sa tanan nga gapang subaybay ang nga program. I hope, or we hope, we will be able to impart to you some important learnings during summer. Uh, Makashare kami sa among ginagmay nga matag sa atong mga mananaway. Yes, kasi if you notice, no, Parang, ang, ang, parang sometimes parents, you know, have this huge burden on their shoulders when it's summertime, di ba? Kasi para ba ang feeling natin eh, heto na naman po kami, yung mga bata nagre-rest lang sa bahay, nakatambak yung mga pagkain para kainin nila, may at may hingi ng baon kasi pupunta ng kung saan na mga lakwacha, tambay-tambay, di ba? So mga ganyan. So, heto bang ano, yung peso, sinasabi natin peso, ano ibig sabihin nito ka? Yeah. PESO is the Public Employment Service Office. Uh, it is under the uh, supervision of the Department of Labor and Employment, which is downloaded to every locality, be it province, uh, municipal, uh, for the whole Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, so ano yun siya? Mandated by law? Yes, mandated by law. Okay, uh, and uh, how long has this been in existence? Kasi parang ako hindi ko nga alam yan eh. <laughs> Kung alam ko lang yan, di sana sumali na ako niyan. I, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe the Department of Labor is watching. It's been since 1995. Ah, so matagal 92, na. 92-95. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hindi, uh -huh. hindi nakapanahon na namin. Hindi <laughs> na ako sudyante <laughs> noon. Uh -huh. So, heto namang SPES, Sir Ray. Ano ito? Ang SPES na ito is a uh, special program for the employment of students. Actually, this is a national program under the Department of Labor and Employment. But, uh, willing sila mo take a partnership either from public or private sector. So, sa public sector, kami lugar sa mga LGUs from barangay, municipalities, cities, and of course, uh, provinces, pwede mo pledge, mo commit sila kay counterparting, magod ang sweldo ni ma'am, 60% mm -hmm. uh, shouldered by the, uh, the partner, and the remaining 40% is shouldered by the Dolly. Mm -hmm. Now, sa private sector po, like sa ila sa... Sa McDonald's. Di ba, involved din kayo nito, Ma'am Sharon? Yes, ma'am. We are one partner. Isa mi sa partner of Peso and Dole. Bali, for McDonald's Pes program, actually, ma'am, this started way back 2012. And uh, just last March, na kami Pes, around 16 ku, nga gidistribute na mo for four stores, four company stores nga gi-accommodate ang Pes. Mm -hmm. So, na start last March, um, Moabot sila sa amo mambay batch. Okay. So, papano, how, how do we go about it? Like, for example, Sir Ray, you said na it's counterparting, no? Para may counterpart ang private enterprise na kasama ninyo. So, how do you encourage them to join you in this project? Actually, uh, tungod kay taud tao na sa niyang implementation aning uh, space program. Actually, this is a year-round basis man nga program. So, it's not just during summer? No. Yeah. Uh, kini lang ang LGU lang good, ga, ga, ga implement aning nga program during summer. Kaya mo maning taas nga bakasyon sa mga estudyante. Kaya kung implement ni mo siya in month of the year except summer, nidyo gin alanganin ng mga estudyante. So, what the LGU did, did do ginila na implement during summer. Mm -hmm. So, tungkol kay task classes ng program, murag halos na mga every incoming batches nga mo qualify, gasulod na sila diretso sa office. Mm -hmm. Ganto na gin sila, dilit na sila na mo kinalang tawagon. But during pag pagsira gila ng mga March, naalala na sila ganto sa office mag-apply. Oh, 
pero Miss Kate, Kate eh, paano yun? How, how do they apply? Like for example, sabi ni Sir, eh, longer kasi siya pag summer. Mm -hmm. Pero eh, since it's a year-round thing, so pwede days sila mo avail ani even during the school uh, time? Like for example, pag entrada sa June, tapos may mga weekends or what? Or talagang mas ideal siya on the summer like Sir said? Yeah, mas ideal siya during summer kay taas-taas ang limit. And mostly the LGUs do that every summer mm -hmm. kay tungod sa span of time. But they can also avail the STES program through private entity like McDonald's. They have different sets of batches which they could avail even mag-start na ang, program, mm -hmm. uh, ang classes at ang mga bata. So, what ang the normal thing lang nagkakaandan in the LGU is summer ginamo siya gina-implement. Mm -hmm. oh. So, how, how does one apply? Like, for example, eh, sabi ninyo, sir, eh, kakatok na lang sila doon sa opisina nyo, hindi na kailangan tawagin. How, how does one apply to become, you know, a member of this or who can avail of this FES program? Let's start muna yung sa LGU bago tayo punta kay McDonald's. Actually, sa LGU, we, the... the Chief Executive has already identified some sectors nga kitagaan na ito ang priority. Like mm -hmm. for instance, we have the poor peace, we have the sendong victims who are sc uh, living scattered sa tanan ng mga relocation sites nila. So naapoy sila yung mga slot. O, we have the oro youth na tagaan po sila yung slot. Naapoy kita sa mga single parent. Naakit sa katun sa mga boys town. So, naagil siya, nakabutang na ang mga slating daan. Kato na din ang uban nga mo excess na sa kuwan. Muna itong mga walk-ins, ginatawag na to Who comes from different barangays within the city, nga maanto sa opisina sa peso, and then uh, mag maniga, mag mag mag-submit sila ang mga requirements. Basin ra nga mo, qualify sila o masunod sila sa isla. Dili ba lisod kay to apply? And no, because the basic requirements are are innate nga naana sa mga bata. So, to talk with na alang type birth certificate because the age is from 15 to 25 years old. Ah, so, ang maka-avail is only 15, 15 to 25 yes. years old. At the time of the program nga mag-start, uh -huh. dapat 15 na. The grade, dapat ang grades, kay, dapat na sila sa passing grade because we we wanted that the beneficiaries katod yung uh, deserving. deserving uh -huh. yeah. And then, syempre, na tayo category sa what we call poor. So, kana lang sa tulong ka category. So, we will be needing a certificate of indigency to attest that they belong to the poor category mm -hmm. of which is ang national government ang identify So, paano yun? So, when, when they go there and then they submit their application or they are al part of the allocated uh, group na equalize, are they going to, you know, every year, dapat mo balik sila? Or... Do they, they cannot avail of it after one year? Is it a continuous uh, thing for a particular student? Kasi, di, kaya ko tinanong yan, it's because primarily na, kung it's a one-time event, like one summer lang, it will not be enough to give yeah. an impact mm -hmm. to the child or to the student. Pero if it's something like every year, pwede niyang i-avail kasi i-comply niya naman yung grades niya, no, that will attest to his diligence in studying, at least makagraduate man lang mm -hmm. siya makatabang man lang din siya. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, that is the program of the city mayor. Actually, when he was still in the province, in Anna man, gusto niya nga na continuity ang iyang program na implement So, kami, this is now our second year pa sa, sa city si government. So, ang among priority gid ka itong mga old stress na mo para lagi atong ginatawag na tayo continuity sa program. As much as possible, maka-avail sila sa program for as long as mag eskwela sila. Hantod nga time nga mo graduate sila, mm -hmm. makasunod gid sila sa atong program. How many, are, how, how many are allocated? I mean, how many slots are available every year? It depends. Last year, we have 2,500 SPES beneficiaries. So, uh -huh. every year, dili gusto si Mayor nga, mo lang sad na ang number of slot. So, this year, na kami sa 3,000 beneficiaries. So, daghande ka, yes, ayaw ang inyong yes, i-allocate. Yes, yeah, oh. And this is from 15 to 25 years of age. In other words, nani sa high school. High school, then Dapit college. college ani. And one thing is, student gid siya, mm -hmm. who would really enroll this semester, for example, this June. Uh -huh. uh, so we dapat encourage students. Get so, paano yun? Do you, do you give the payment directly to the student or is it paid directly to the school? We paid it directly to the school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, wala silang tatanggapin yung sudyante? Wala silang tatanggapin. How much would it be? Ang computation, um, sir? For the 20-day period, kay 20 day man ang ilang, 20 days man ilang pagpanarbaho, they will be earning around 4,000 pesos. Not bad, di ba? Yeah, so what are the different categories of work that they are assigned to? Actually, ma'am, uh, kung basya na to ang national na to, kay national program man siya, kung naagig ka sa imong barangay, the basic yung nga trabaho niya mo is number one, clean and green program. 
uh, cleaning na to natural gina nga kinalan tangal mga diklaging sa kanal panilhig mang 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 dental sa mga bato or what have you nga makaayo sa barangay mm -hmm. and of course katong na sa mga taas-taas nga to sa kabukiran ginkaris po nato sila nga mananom sila og mga kahoy mm -hmm. mananom sila mga fruit trees ang sa ubos kanina sa urban nato mananom sila og mga lagutmon mga kanang mga bakanting area ilang tamdan and some nga mga space na ito nga beneficiaries are also top pag-disseminate sa tanan mga programs sa atong city government nga para intended sa taga-kagayan. And they report 8 hours a day? Yes, 8 to 12, 1 to 5 day. Monday to Friday? Monday to Friday lang ito ang aming trabaho. Uh -huh. So they, they have to do a time record? Yes. Opo, para yes. ma-follow up sila. Mm -hmm. And who checks on their work? So, sabi niyo po, eh, it's a more of the tree planting, more of the dissemination sa programs sa government. So, aside from that, where can they, kasi 2,500, marami yun eh. So, dapat makikita natin sila, very visible dapat sila. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, uh, katong sa mga barangay, to uh, sila bisag asa nga sityo sa barangay. We also have those nga katong nga gusto gin nga magtrabaho, magdiya ma ma-expose ma sila diya sa city government ng mga panarbaho and some national government agencies nga nanginanglan po ang mga summer jobber dito na mag-deploy ang uban but because lagi kaya ang ilang earnings magod karon not only from the LGU but as well as from the DOLE ang DOLE magod sila they will be paying through, uh, through uh, educational, educational voucher so paigo nagyapon sa school, school ang ilang earnings uh -huh. so what we did para diligid kayo ma, ma luing atong mga ginikanan nga magastuan kay wala ba sila yung mga income na gituatanan sa school first na mga pa, uh, policy is kung asa ka barangay dito ka ma-assign mm -hmm. but there are those nga who really willing to spend something pamiliti pagkaon mag-report lang din sila sa opisina kaya, kaya, kaya ko yung tinanong sa inyo sir which you answered actually eh, it's very basic na since they come from the poorest of the poor mm -hmm. yung pamasahe man lang wala na di ba mm -hmm. so it's good na they're assigned to where mm -hmm. they are already mm -hmm. staying so that removes transportation and, and food, food di ba yes, kasi yes, andun yes. lang yung mga bahay nila mm -hmm. and they can already avail of yes, that eh. so that is now given to the school pagka entrada sa school year mm -hmm. and that means na gamay-gamay na lang gina yeah, kulang sa ginikanan yes the parents. Well, Wala, wala ding, ano, walang limitation. Like for this family, there are three students and who would like to avail. Walang limitation din yan. Actually, we limit that one member lang per family. Per family, mm -hmm. okay. Let's go to the private uh, sector. Sa inyo po, ma'am, sa McDonald's, uh, Sharon, eh, how do you go about it? Sa kanila, ni Sir, eh, diretso sa school. And then, ang dole is an educational voucher. Sa inyo po, you pay it direct also to the school? Yes, or to for, the uh, actually, for McDonald's, ma'am. We pay the 60%. So that 60% we pay directly to the SPES crew uh, through cash. Diretsyo ma'am hatag every 15 man ang cut off. So Which is usually how much do they earn? Around 2,000 ma'am. Okay. Not bad also, yes, di ba? So Kesa naman wala silang ginagawa so on the in summer. In one month, makakagenerate silang 4,000. Uh -huh. So, dili siya bad because naapa siya 40% from the dollar. From the dollar, oh. yes. So, sa ilahag yung ihatag. So, yes, they can do with it. Yeah. So, in other words, they can use it either to help their families o kaya naman for themselves to prepare them for the entrance of the school. Okay. Papano po ang inyong qualifications naman din? How, how, how can they apply? At first, di ba, from the peso screening, then we endorse ah, so them. So, galing sa inyo yes. din. Kayo yes. kata yes. ang mag-ano, screen. Yes. Mm -mm. We do the screening. So, kayo, sa, kani, sa inyo dapat mag-apply? Yes, uh, Hindi mag direct sa inyo, no. ha? Hindi, ma'am. Okay. So, all the applicants from McDonald's comes from us we do the screening if they are qualified but they have to take the exam yeah. from mcdonald's so if, they, if they fail we're out of that then mm -hmm. we will find another ah, okay. to take the exam once okay. the endorse mm -hmm. nila sa amo ma'am ang spes applicant will undergo exam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. same process lang yapon exam interview once uh, qualified then absorb siya as school. Mm -hmm. and that. how long does it last yung kaniyang pagiging spes crew from that's 52 days. 52 days uh, yes. Space crew should render 52 days. That is good for 416 hours. Mm -hmm. Tapos so, noon, hindi na siya pwede mag-renew. Pwede pa rin the following pwede. year. Pwede. Naagalit ni ano. <laughs> oh, later, we will interview him. Oh, eh, oh. uh, Daghan na kayo space crew na naging regular crew na namo karun. And uh -huh. they are performing well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, di ba namo kiddie crew? Yes, ma'am. Naapod ni kiddie crew. This is uh, open for summer. 
So, ang KD Crew Program is a 5D workshop lang na siya, ma'am. Uh -huh. Open for 6-year-old kid to 12-year-old. So, naana siya art workshop. Bali, exposed na mo siya to kanyang customer service. Which is actually good, you know. Kasi we are trying to teach our children as young as they are to value work eh, and to value money, di ba? Instead, laag-laag la la lang, they are now productive citizens already, yes. di ba? So, sa inyo, Kat, eh, sabi mo na all the applications should fall in your office, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, briefly, how many companies or private enterprises are involved here who are also, you know, working with you na pwede natin ipadala sa kanila para magtrabaho ang mga ano, students natin? Uh, actually, it's with McDonald's lang. Ah, Oo, sige. Kasi we have a tie-up with the with McDonald's on this program. So, walang iba? Mm -hmm. like, walang like iba. Other, like other um, corporations, hindi sila tumatanggap? Hindi sila tumatanggap. So, uh, yun, yung parang commitment siguro yeah. ni McDonald's mm -hmm. to help out? Yes, no. It's okay. just that nakamawa kami, that the, the, the National Peso Field, Bali, the Federation of Peso Managers, is signing up a MOA with McDonald's, the main in Manila, mm -hmm. together with Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. That's Pero, why sa amin talaga dumadaan lahat ng tao. Oh. And it's for, not for only for McDonald's, mm -hmm. Cagayan de Oro? The whole. The whole. Philippines, yes. Davao, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am, in the, the entire Philippines. region, ma'am, we have. How many do you have? Uh, like ma'am, based example, on record, like for a year, naka 3,000 crew. In a year? Uh, best for uh -huh. McDonald's, the entire Philippines. Yes, uh -huh. so that's 3,000, that's quite a number, no? Yes, yes Parang yung sa inyo nga ay 3,000 din, going mm -hmm. 3,000 din kayo. Okay. So if you add both of that, that's 6,000, I mean, how many families will benefit from this? No? We'll take a very short break, and when we return, we'll continue on with our discussion. Please stay tuned. you like to spend your summer vacation? Is it going to be laag, tambay, or earn extra money and then why? Earn extra money. Nagtabang naman gusto ko mama sa kaan, Kogon Market, nagpamigyag otan, tapos nagtabang-tabang gusto kong papa. I uh, spend my summer like dancing, enjoying my craft, sapod sa pan, kana gusto po na ako uh, mag-enjoy ko sa akong summer, like mag-compete to other country and di ba, exercise na yapon para sa akong kagalingan. Um, um, actually, gasayo sa'yo, may karoon ka racket-racket para sa maka-earn maka me og money kasi para makatabang po sa among family, sa akong baby. Then, gakuan po ko sa gahelp po ko sa mga dancers nga interesado para sa kuan gusto mo sayaw, interesado kung makalearn ng pagsayaw, o kanang mo nang akong gakakalan karon ng summer dili ko wala kay ko'y gakuan ng mga laag-laag ako ay sa, sa dancing talaga ako na ko. Um, I would rather choose to earn extra money and maybe play some sports because it can develop my uh, my physical physical appearance then I can earn money so that I can help my family. I would like to spend my summer vacation with my family because sa una mong good katong dugas ko ila pa ako every time nga mahuman ng klase after ato mula agno then ko then kulang ko sa time sa mong family so I would like to spend time with them. Ang pag-ampo para na ako aron aduna ay kaluwasan ng akong kalag. Para na ako ang pag-ampo bililho na dool ka sa permis sa ginoo. O kanunay kang nagtimaan sa iyang dako nga kasing-kasing kung wala siya, wala kay mahimo. Siyempre mag ka para matagaan ka o juta yung grasya o dako bang grasya. Ang para sa ako, ang pag-ampo, it's a relationship between God and the human. That's the only time nga maka nang, makahatag ka o thanks sa ginoo o kanak po siya o sana siya nga makapalambo sa imua as a person because... Adunay gahum sa pag-ampo. Sa Let's Pray Cagayan de Oro, may kauban ka. Matag Lunes, Miyerkules o Biyernes, alasay sa buntag. Let's Pray Cagayan de Oro, where you don't need to pray alone. Uban sa imong prayer partner, Hope Channel. Nakikita niyo yung antenna. Hangad mo bang matuklasan ang hindi mapagkakailang katotohanang nakasaad lamang sa Biblia? Subaybayan ang distinctive truths in Jesus para sa katotohanang magbibigay ng tunay na kaligayahan. 
Dito lang sa Hope Channel Philippines. Welcome back to Dynamic Living, the Total You, with our episode here, The Grit and Glory, Summer Teen Jobs. And of course, ngayon, kanina pinag-usapan po natin yung ating mga people who are involved, the people behind Hetong Peso and SPES program. And ngayon naman, eh, atin na namang i-welcome sa ating show, the students who have availed of the program. I'd like to welcome to the show, of course, Carl Jan Bitaizar. Yes, ma'am. Good evening sa'yo. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, I have Mari V. Hekilan. Good evening. Opo, and Jerick Suiz. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. And we have Jean Mark Javier. Good evening, ma'am. Oh, oh, unahin ko si Jean Mark eh, kasi na intriga ako na you are now with McDonald's, yes, ito ba? You started as a ano? Spes. Spes. Yes, po. Oh, how, when did you start as a Spes? Way back 2012-2013. Oh, so for one year. No, it's 82 days. Okay. Ang, at biglang naabsorb ako ng McDonald's, na renew yung pag spes ko tapos na-absorb ako ng manager namin. Uh -huh. Tapos Pero yung ano, naging ano? regular crew tapos naging nasa as local store marketing. Ay, wow, ang galing naman. Mm -hmm. So, pero you were studying at the time. Yes, ma'am. You are not studying now. Nag-study pa po. Okay, what are you enrolled in? Uh, at MUST po, Mindanao University of Science and Technology, taking up civil engineering po. Okay, anong year ka na? Mag sa yung batch ko po gumaluit last March, pero ako po nahuli po. Ay, it's okay. Kahit na huli man daw, nakakahapol pa din. Yes. No? So, kayo naman tatlo. Let's start with Carl. So, How did you learn of the SPES program? Um, the SPES program actually helped me to develop my sense of self. It aided me to become more job-oriented so that I can when grow. Did you start, when did you start enrolling sa SPES, involving yourself sa SPES? Actually, I joined SPES last year. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of liked it. So, I joined also this year. O sa'yo mo ang ginakuha ka rin na course? So, I'm a fresh graduate and I'm not quite sure on what course to take pa ka rin, ma'am. Fresh graduate from high school? MOGS. MOGS, okay. And uh, <coughs> before you graduated sa MOGS, nag-involve ka na sa, sa SPES or on your third year, nag-SPES ka? Uh, before I graduated, I was involved in SPES. SPES already. What about you, Marvi? Um, I started last year, ma'am. Then, then, now, now, nag otorapod ko kaya nakita na ako nga kuan tako siya nga tabang sa kuha sa kung pag school bitaw sa kung sa imo ang schooling karon mag third year college naman kung sa imo gikuha business ad where Xavier University okay and what about you Jerix um yes ma'am last year nga I'm in space benefits also ma'am and and also now ma'am so I'm now a college student third year college taking the course of Information Technology. Saan? In Liceo de Cagayan University. So, nakita mo, we have here from MUST, I have from Liceo, I have from Xavier, and... Fresh graduate. Fresh graduate. So, all of you are products of SPES. How, how did you learn about SPES? Was it by word of mouth or did your parents tell you? O kaya naman, eh, may ka kaibigan kayo na nagsabi sa inyo about this? Uh, for me, ma'am, um, actually, um, Gagawin pangita ko work because gusto ko makatabang sa akong mga bad, mga gastuhan sa school life So so by taking the space beneficiaries, dako siya tabang sa ko kay s'yempre makapalit ko sa akong mga libro and also the other expense na kailangan sa school. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about you, Marvi? How did uh, you learn of space? Yes, I learned it from my friend. Uh -huh. uh, yes, ma'am. Then the ana siya, gusto ka mag summer job din ko na no, sure, ana asa tapet then mo then to sa city hall then. Yeah, to me that to the na mungi ko na mo kung sa mga requirements na kinanglan mo then to amungi comply then mo then to na dawat dayon. Dili lisod magapply. Did you find it very difficult or was it something na when you submitted your application you were did you get an interview? Were you interviewed also? No, wala na submit lang of the application. Yes, ma'am. From the time na nag submit kayo to the time na you learned na you can avail of it. When did you know? Like, was it one week, two months after na natawagan mo? For me, ma'am, wala uh, akong nag-expect na makuhaan, ma-appeal. Kaya I thought, di sud kayo makasulod. Pero after a week, I think, or a month, namang good ko sa out of town pa ito nga time. 
gitext lang ko na there is an orientation then mo to nag naka timing pod nga ni uli na din mi ato nga kuan mm -hmm. ato nga days so naka apel ko mo mm -hmm. what about you Jerix where where did you learn i mean uh, was it really difficult to apply or dali lang gihapon and then in a matter of weeks nakahibalo na ba dayon ka Uh, also, I actually am um, and uh, dali na siya mag-apply so mga ilang requirements para i-comply then submit the requirements then mag-wait ka for weeks or months mm -hmm. nga mag-take so mm -hmm. then you got the orientation so for So the, pag na-orient ka then you are informed kung kaya or appeal ka or dili. Yes, um, kanang nasa time nga kung mo padayon baka or dili because there are the uh, choices ay mga choices ito nga magpadayon ka sa... Mm -hmm. okay. So, papaano yun sa sa'yo naman, Jean? Eh? Ang imo is, you were, you know, given to McDonald's by Spes. Yes, Sila ang nag-assign sa imo nga dito ka dalon? Yes, ma'am. During pag-apply na ko sa akong tita, nandiyan nga, nadoy ko ang sa Spes. So, nag-apply ko, comply ko, tapos itawagan ko sa Spes, nga ni Annie, nga na-interview, uh, orientation to first sa McDonald's. So, gi-interview ko, nag-agay po kong exam, So, so far, God is good, nakapasar. Mm -hmm. So, interview, then, doon, nag-hire din ko din itong last June. Okay, what about you, Carl? Eh, you are now going to enter college and dili ka pa sure unsa sa imo hang gustong kuhaon. We would, asa man ka naka-assign ka sa SPES? Where have they assigned you? Unsa sa imo trabaho, ani niya ka ron? Um, I'm assigned at mayor's office. So, we're filing documents, receiving, delivering files, and then scheduling mayor's appointments. And sometimes we, I, me, I also assist in civil weddings. Okay. What about you, Marv? Uh, Saan ka naka-assign? Sa peso office. Uh -huh, Aha, mismo uh -huh. sa peso yes, office. So more of clerical din ang work ni Yes, ma'am. Ma we are the one processing, ma'am, the uh, folders. Kana magpasa sa mga requirements nga na pa uban ko lang. So, it, kami ang gakuan. Ano Tapos kamo mo contact sa ilaha sa. Yes, ma'am. Opo. What about you? Where uh, are you assigned? I'm also in a piece of office, ma'am. Uh -huh. In a computer, I input the data of okay, the... Okay, IT ang iyong course, di ba? Yes, ma'am. So, uh -huh. kailangan siya related with them. So, I input the applicants, mga resume with them. Uh -huh. So, the computer, so that if the, there are companies that need a job, So, you can easily search for the mm -hmm. program. So, uh, how do you feel na ang inyong ubang mga kaubanan, you know, the rest of the gang, the rest of the barkadas, are actually out there having fun, and you are there working, so to speak. How, how do you feel about it? Let's start with you, Jet. Para sa po, okay raman siya, ma'am, kay, naman po kay kuan, time management lang yun dapat. Oo, gamit kay siya, kay... Kung ana mag-work ka tapos galag sila, nampi uban after sa work mapas ka ngana, mm -hmm. ngana lang. Tapos time management pag mag-skwela ka, tapos na kay duty and that time, tapos na klase pagkahuman. Okay ra man gyapon, makalag man gyapon mm -hmm. so, so kung kung baga you're saying eh wala problema so wala. to speak. Wala si wala si problema man kung kabulon jud ka mo kan sinong time, okay. time management ni dapat. Uh -huh. what about you? Um for me I'm neutral lang siguro. So mga wala siguro kung katong sila wala sila nag problema mga financial bitam so okay lang din silang mag work so ako kay so you feel ako. how do you feel about it nga ikaw you have to really work para lang makatabang sa imong pag-eskwela do you feel like um, it's a burden to you o kaya naman na uh, this is something that is good kasi i will learn something from it so, as an experience i'm learning many things mm -hmm. so in a real world nga mga kuan you know, practices mm -hmm. like doing in office and then also siguro time management no you, yes, you are being taught time management and the value of money diba yes, what yes, about you marvik eh mm -hmm. ikaw syempre dalaga and would like yes, to have a uh, you know lag lag and all eh. and here you are you are stuck up in a peso office trying to do work in order for you to earn so do you feel bad about it or okay lang siya enjoy ako no mom i don't feel bad then uh -huh. It's okay for me because it's an opportunity for me also to prepare myself para sa kong future po, Danana. Then, sa ako, okay ra sa ako kung sila kay, most of my friends are having summer class man po. And, kuan, if sila, enjoy sila, okay lang. So, ang money yata sa McDonald's, 60% is given to you? Yes. Anong suspense po ako? Anong suspense ka pa? Ngayon, nasa McDonald's ka na? 
McDonald's na talaga. Talaga ang nagsasahod yes. sa'yo. Oh. And you are able to manage the money that you receive now as a salary. Yes. Yes. For you. So, ikaw nag gabayad sa iyo mong tuition. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, so swerte naman ng mga magulang ninyo kung gano'n, mm -hmm. ano? Because you're able to help them. Carl, ikaw naman, eh, what have you learned from your experience being part of the SPES program? Like, ikaw personally, what have you learned individually as a person na, heto pala, ay eh, natutunan ko because I am in SPES. Kung siguro wala ko sa SPES, dili kaya na ako siya mahibalan nga, mauni siya dapat. Well, I felt very noble kasi ma'am, kay nakatuon ko unsa jud ang feeling na maka-work jud as to the community to, under the government and also helping my parents in my own little way. Okay, what about you, Mark? For me, ma'am, um, siguro ang um, important sa time mm -hmm. kay I don't have a, time, a good time management. Dati? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I wake up late. And I woke up. Then, siguro time management lang good, ma'am. Then, be responsible po, discipline na discipline po ko to kay it, it is really a um, a blessing to me po no nga nakatuon ko ginganay po mo okay ito. what about you Jer uh, yes yes i'm sa po kay daghan ko tawon about sa leadership so in terms of leadership um ana murag kaya ni mo mandulog mga things with um kay kay tungod kay na practice na kita ka sa mm -hmm. like Nagi sa space nga works mm -hmm. like that one. So, what about you? Dagan kag matunan ma, especially being independent yun uh -huh. so far. Kay sukod sa pagbabata mo siya ba dipindi ako sa mama. So in, pag college na ako at kuan si, sa during sa kung school day siyog kalit. Adigi uh, yon siyog kalit. Tapos pag tunag work na ako tigin ako na kuan nga so, ipagtatigit ang time, time management. Okay. So, nakalearn ko kung... So, in other words, the four of you really learned very valuable lessons that you will carry with you as you mature, as you go on with your journey eh, in the professions that you can choose. That will be a carryover also when you have your own families. Kung ang mga kabataan ka ron, like, for example, you... You are. You see yourself ngayon yana. You you availed of the government's help, no, to be able to help you find money para makapatabang sa yung pagpaiskwela. Would you recommend the same thing for those young people watching you now? Na wala ginahimo na summer and yet galisod po dilang families to send them to school and pwede naman silang iangat nila yung buhay nila. Would you say na you would recommend and invite them and encourage them? What about you, Carl? Yes, ma'am, because it's a three-way benefit to us, for us to learn, to our parents, to minimize their expenses, and to the community so that we can help to the labor force. Okay, napakaganda, no? Three-way siya, eh. What about you, Yes, ma'am, ma um, in-encourage mo na ko sila nga mag-kuan, apply po, to help them also sa ilang parents nila, then kuan po, makalas expenses, then sa ilang pong future, ma'am, nga naa sila ma-learn sa work, mm -hmm. ano. What about the challenge in terms of, heto you are working, you're a student, kumbaga bata pa mangyud mo, and yet you are already learning how to work. What is the greatest challenge nga na-encounter ni mo? We'll start with you, Jean. Sa ako, ma'am. During sa pag-school, ma'am. So, grabe, ma'am. Grabe ang adjust yun sa time so far. During exams, kapas na kay duty. So, kung anong yun, primero, di ginawin ko nga, adin ako makaya ba eh, kay trabaho yung school na. Pero sa primero, adjust lang. Mm -hmm. Mak makaya naman. Okay. Salig lang po. Salig lang. Yes. Okay, what about you? <laughs> um, sa ako, ma'am, kuha niya siya ng lisod. Kaya siyempre, kaya ka din, katrabaho ko So, mga kuha niya mga kailangan dito ka mag-work mag sa iyong sel para makatabang ka sa pamilya mm -hmm. din, sa iyong kagalingon po. What about your parents? How, how does your parent view na ni-appeal ka ani niya nga program, Carl? Uh, my parents give their 100% support because they they can see me being productive. Uh huh. What about you? Yes, mom. Sa so, kung parents kay nalipay git sila kay mm -hmm. anak kung mama nga nalipay siya nga nakapil daw ko kay nakatabang yun. Uh huh. Sa, sa, ex sa tuition, expenses, no? Sa tuition. So kung kanang time nga, if given the time again and the chance to work again under this special special program, eh, would you still go through it? Yes, ako ko. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ka. Kailangan ko siya katabang. Uh -huh. What about you? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, siya. In other words, eh, 
you would still go back and work and work until you finish your studies. No? So that is something that our young people should see na pwede man di ay, kaya man di ay na to. So if you were to invite a young person na may nguta nga, medyo lisod yun sa ang kwarta sa ilang panimalay nila, unsa man imong i-advise sa iya? Sa mga teens like me, kanang nastambay lang, uh, apply mo sa SPES. So far, grab it. Dira ka, ka maka-apply yun. Tapos, do siya katabang sa ato. Mm. Being independent, tapos make your parents proud. Okay, um, what about you, Jer? Um, yes, so, nga lang. Mo apply ito sa atong kwan para makatabang po nung sa pamilya din. Makabudget sa atong mga gasto nun. Bisa ginagmay lang siya pero dako na siya tabang sa ato ang so, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sa ako, ma'am, uh, katong mga wala gipang himo din. And galisod po, ano mo apply gid sila kay dagan benefits dili lang financially po din. Character po, uh, nasa lang ma-learn, mm -hmm. apply nila gud and they develop the right attitude. Yes, no? What about you, Carl? Well, for all the teens out there who are bored in their summer, I would advise them to join the space because it's both fun and fulfilling. Okay, so there's the invitation already. Please stay tuned. And when we return, we'll continue on with our program here on the SPES, PESO program of the government, which is in linkage with actually McDonald's. Okay, please uh, stay on your screens. Don't go away. So, Ma'am Lily, aside from earning extra money, what do you think our children or young people will learn from being exposed to having a job? Ma'am, maka-job sila, Ma'am, or not like extra money. Dahil makatapang sila pag iskwila. Experience sila trabaho. Kabalo sila mo trabaho. Yan, asila, makabalo sila mangitag ilang kwarta ba? Ako makasultihan na kung ang mga bata makalearn yun na sila kung Unsa ka importante or unsa ka lisod pangitaon nato ang kwarta aron magamit nato sa atong uh, sa atong panginabuhi kay lisod og dili maayo nga kung ang atong kwarta gagamiton karon dili siya maayo nga kanang murag iwaldas-waldas sa atong mga kaanakan tungod kay murag kuan jud murag money is gold gina para sa mga ginikanan ilang experience so sama sa kuan kining mga mag summer job sa insakto nga nagtudlo po nila nga sa mga opisina nga katudlo yun ilang experience na no, not just earning money pero ilang experience siya sa pagtuon og panarbaho okay gawa sa learning uh, og sa earning nila they will be exposed diba, sa working condition in a certain environment. Uh, example, kung estudyante ka, and then uh, nag-summer job ka, makakataon ka on saan pagminggol sa mga workers. Preparatory na. Kay bulahan po lumahuman ka, at least kabalo na ka, ang kasiklase ng mga culture ng mga namit ng mga tao. Uh, second is, siguro ang fiscal management, di ba? Makatoon ang estudyante sa pag-budget nila. At the same time, that, Katabang po siya sila mag-inikanan kay ang purpose mong sa summer job para mga sa estudyante at least po pagpainuloy na sila ay kwarta nga magastin na sa eskwilahan. And most of all, ang importante niya nga in that summer job o ragkatrabaho na sila, di ba? Na na sila experience. Ang nga maulay niya ang one day, manarbaho tayo na niya. Di ba? They will meet some people. They will meet different people in a different cultures. So kabalo na sila mag-adjust. Kaya sa isyante ka, isyante ka hanggang tulad ka, taas man ang mga judgment, diba? Pero mag-summer job ka, siyempre klase-klase nga mga tayong mamit eh. So kabalo na ka mag-adjust yung magagalingon. Inaani da ay ang real world ay nga manrabaho na ka. Okay.
welcome back to Dynamic Living, The Total You, with our episode, The Grit and Glory, Teen Summer Job. So, kanina narinig po natin yung mga kabataan natin, no? their experiences, and uh, they're endorsing actually the SPES-PESO program, which is very good. Kasi it's mas maayong mong gudusahay nga ang mga kabataan mo, ingganyo sa ilang kapwa kabataan, mm -hmm. kay mong gudas lang mo hatak, di ba? So, bang tanong tamo ka ron, um, are you parents? Yeah. You are a parent? Yes, ma'am. You are a parent? Yes, you are a parent. Also. Okay, so if it's, um, the, the reason why I asked you is this. It's very simple. Would you allow, if given that same situation, na medyo hirap tayo sa buhay, no? Kasi hindi naman lahat tayo can afford to send our children to school. Would you be sending your children to the PESO SPES program? One. Or number two, kahit na ngayon na may kaya kayo, mm -hmm. yung mga kabataan ninyo, do you encourage them to go seek summer jobs? Let's start with Sir Ray. Yeah, ako 100% yes. Why? Aside, of course, from the earning, the learning values more than the earning. Why? The, sa ilang kabatanon, they will be exposed sa mga trabaho nga uh, in real world, after mo graduate sila sila pag pang eskwela, maugit ilang mapaingnan. Mm -hmm. So at the early stage, at least banana sila exposure. And of course, kini siya nga program, again, akong i-reiterate, ang approach ani is, ang mga bata na to will learn how to be a responsible person in the future. Kaya nga no, kini ba itong mga kabatalunan are the future of our community. So while they are still young, we have to expose them to as more as a classing exposure nga makaumol sa ilang nga may mong guwapo nga tao, mabilinon nga tao sa katilin. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sharon? Okay, for me, ma'am, since I have a 17-year-old kid, kid pa ba siya or ano, <laughs> teenager, so ako, I was once a working, ano, bali, trabaho ko before, then, skwela. So, nabati na ako na siya, ma'am, uh, personally. Uh, na-learn ako sa ako lang hadagan kung na-learn nga values. So gusto na ako ng akong anak po ma-inculcate ma po or ma-instill nila ang value of like for example sa McDonald's. So expose expose sila sa customer service. Yes. Tapos kabalo sila mo chika sa customer, mo entertain sa customer. Then na apoy motivation. Like for example, motivation in living like for now. Iba lisod ka ayo ang panahon. So Makabalo sila on sa on pag earn uh -huh. of living. What about you, Kat? Yes, uh -huh. I would. Uh, I have two kids. Uh, given the chance na maabot na siya sa age of 15, yeah. No, uh, yung ipa-enroll. Uh, ipa-enroll in the SPES program simply because I wanted him to learn. Uh -huh. I wanted him to appreciate why I am working and why he needs to study. Yes, para kasi, kaan. minsan kasi in, ang nangyayari, eh, they don't appreciate, yeah. di ba? Akala oh. nila na, you know, money just grows on trees. Mm -hmm. So, eskwela sila, minsan di pa gani mag eskwela tarong. <laughs> so, they would appreciate uh -huh. every penny ng ilang pangayon sa ito. Ah. Uh -huh. So, they would learn na in any ba they are working, especially in a, in a government service. Uh -huh. Paano yung survey ang inyo? Structured ba yung program ninyo sa SPES? Like for example, pag interview sa Ilaha and then they get accepted, they go through orientation, they're given the ano kung what, what to do, how to do it, and for the remainder of the days, what is expected of them? Actually, uh, upon submission sa ilang mga requirements, uh, we notify them nga uh, kining uh, date na may orientation. Kaya we could not accommodate and we cannot do orientation in one setting, mm -hmm. especially sa karun nga year nga medyo... Taas, wala, No, wala gid me mm -hmm. venue gid kaya nga mong uh, tourism hall was being used by the justices kaya na nalisgrasya well, ba itong hall of justice. So, kami kit ang gaad to. Per barangay, cluster cluster lang naman ang mga barangays. Gabuwag ni Nikit Kat, mm -hmm. siya sa District 1 o sa ako sa District 2. No Saturdays and Sundays from February of this year up until to now. now. Wala na may Saturdays and Sundays. Gatiksa-tiksa na may sa so mga kapamilya, asa naman mo. But we have to do it because in public service, there is no time limit yet. Uh -huh. So napakaganda naman, no? the, the, the dedication and the commitment for you to be able to bring in these young people in para magkaroon sila ng trabaho at the same time they go to school, di ba? So, what happens kung drop out? Like for example, eh, enrolled sa SPES, tinulungan na ng SPES, ng DOLE, o kaya ng McDonald's, and then eh, bumagsak, is there a grade requirement? Sabi nyo, passing eh. Yeah. Oo, so, there is no, basta 75, okay na. Yeah, basta, 
ni sulod siya sa passing grade. Uh -huh. So during the orientation, we really specify uh, specific kayo ang orientation nga if you have the uh, bagsak or nakadrop kag duha ka subject for the second semester of this school year. Ayun na lang continuous space because your papers would not be processed. Ah, so meron um, din ganyan na yes, ano condition. Historia siya daan during the orientation. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So sa McDonald's ganun din ba? R and ma'am nagi siya screening because we sa ano pa lang sa basis pa lang kailangan may historia o customer. Ah, yes. So kailangan na mo ang space crew can communicate well mm -hmm. para at least ma sabtan siya sa among customer ma'am. Oh, kasi hindi naman po pwede na tameme lang siya, yes, di ba? Kasi like, oh, when I go to McDonald's, di ba? So, oh, in yeah. other words, the the personality also. Yes. Ah, oh, di ba? Yeah, Kasama consider. din siguro yun sa requirement niyo. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, aside from being able to communicate and the presentable na personality, what are the other criteria na para yung mga nanonood sa atin will be thinking, ah, pupunta ako kay Ma'am Sharon, pupunta mo na ako, apply mo na ako kay Ma'am Kat para, para ma mapadala niya ako sa McDonald's. Gusto ko sa McDonald's, naka-air condition. Kailangan na mo siya ma'am nga makakomprehend kasi we have the standards set na first pa lang sa training pa lang para makapture niya diretso ma'am. So na aming mga guide questions, if may answer to niya 80%, makuha niya, then we will hire the students. At saka tinitrain ninyo yan, di ba? Yes ma'am, oo. They go through trainings also, hindi lang dahil natanggap sila, they are not trained. So when they get out of McDonald's for the SPES program, develop na sila yeah. na confidence yeah. they are well versed uh, they are kanang kabalo na sila ma mag entertain og tao mag talk sa mga tao ana so when they become absorbed like kaganina si ano si Jan Kadganina he, he he was absorbed is absorbed by you eh. so continuous na yan sila sa yes, inyo hindi na yun are, yung renewable lang dili na they are considered regular crew na continuous siya Uh -huh. uh, Magdepende na sa yung performance. Until makatapos di, siya. Yes, ma'am. Wala open na, na siya, wala na, na siya putol as long as he or she can perform mm -hmm. the job. Sa imo sir, eh, how how do you evaluate the, this generation of young people today? Actually, uh, medyo drastic ako kumatay ko. But actually, uh, kwan man, uh, more, more nagid karon ang garispan sa challenge of times. Kay aside from economic nga medyo kalisdanan, ang ato po mga kabatan unang karong ako nakita so far lugar sa magbasi lang ko sa turnout na mo sa among applicants, they are really interested and willing to explore things now. Mm -hmm. Kay dili sila gusto nga mabihain Aside of course, kana mga amigo-amigo, kaya -amigo, usay ma-influence mga kita sa mga kabatanunan nga imong kauban nag-apply. So, Texan, na given the technology that we have now, kana mga group text, mm -hmm. mga sana siya nga mga kuan, dali ra ang pag-canvas, pag-kuan ni mo sa ila, pag-agat uh, mm -hmm. nga mo join. And because daghan ang garispan, ang akong conclusion is sa mga kabatan unang karoon is, mo na gina, they are more than willing to explore and learn, learn, learn because that is the only way nga mahimo silang competitive like any other person nga naa sa ato community. Yes, lalo na ngayon because we have to be globally competitive yes. with the ASEAN integration mm -hmm. coming in, di ba? Mm -hmm. So this is one very good program na the parents who are watching us now, their mm -hmm. children who are not doing anything on the summer can actually involve themselves. Kailangan bang mahirap talaga? Hindi ba po pwede yung mga middle class to avail of this? Wala. We have the, ano, we have the, classification as to the term poor, mm -hmm. uh, the national threshold poverty uh, provided by the national office. Yun. So, doon dapat na, doon doon uh -huh. doon So, right now you say na you have around 3,000. Is it difficult to process that great number of applicants? Very difficult. Uh -huh. uh, we, we went home mga 10 o'clock in the evening daily. And then we have no Saturday, Sundays, yung ibang post ng mga friends to Anasabora, etc., etc. Kami summer, summer in the office. <laughs> like summer case yeah, office, summer just like the, the students. Office, yeah. <laughs> Kasi if we would stop in the processing field, the program, medyo said siya mabikil. Uh -huh. So, during the enrollment, baka hindi pa tapos yung papers, uh -huh. the processing. So, mawala yung, ano, mawala yung essence na mo na we wanted na at the start of, of enrollment. Naalasad siya, naka How many applicants na. do you have? Kasi sabi eh, you're going to accommodate 2,500 to 3,000. How many would be vying for this position? Sa imuhang experience ka? Ang dami, we have four, 
4,000 pa. Yeah, we still have 600 na nakapending uh -huh. doon so, kasi wala ng budget. Wala we ng are budget. hoping that if if the budget would push through, we could have the second batch. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. you're saying na you are only going to have 2,500 to 3,000. You have applicants who are more than 4,000. Yeah. So luoy po, no? If yeah. you turn them away, yeah. where do you get the budget for this? Actually, sa every calendar year, maghatag, magikag budget proposal. It's submit na sa sanggunian and it's up na sanggunian to to approve or not the budget. But uh, before na mulit sa auto sanggunian, i-discuss magin na with the local chief executive and then ipasa na sa local finance and then the local finance decide kung on sa gusto sa executive, pilagid ang i-allow nila for the, the year mo nang himo ang proposal para dito sa mm. uh, sanggunian for okay. their approval. So doon galing ang funding niya. Mm. Yes. So kung gamay lang ang funding makagawas, gamay lang so, ang makaka-avail. Maka so luoy po yeah. tayo, di ba? Yes. What about you, Ms. Sharon, on a personal level? What have you learned from your experience, you know, na having this space being thrown your way to be accommodated, di ba? Para maka-account maka, sila, maka-income sila, maka-study sila. What have you learned from this experience? Ma'am, actually, ma'am, uh, uh, as much as possible, daghan mig ma-accommodate. Mm -hmm. Because based from the interview, from the experience, from the sharing, from the space, mm -hmm. luoy gud ka ayo, ma'am. So, mm -hmm. kanang kailangan gud nila nga na ay income. So, dito na ko na feel nga unsa di ay gud kinanglanan, gud ay gud ang trabaho. So, importante ka ayo nga, when you have the job, grab it mm -hmm. and kanang ilab bitaw ni mo ang work para at least mag-sustain ka. Mm -hmm. And then, dili lang kay space lang ka forever. But we will absorb you. Like Henny. Yeah. Yeah. Oo. Nga, up to now, naapa siya sa Macdo. So, he is er, uh, earnings. Mm -hmm. Palin, kaskwela siya. At the same time, makashare siya sa yung family. Yes, and ma-develop niya yung self. Yes, o oh, personality this develop. Is, sinabi mo, Sir Ray, kanina, and helping de them develop themselves kasi mm -hmm. this is the real world already, di ba? Hindi yung nasi-shelter natin sila nakatago lang sa bahay. Kat, eh, if there is something that can be done to improve further the services of the PESO SPES program, what would that be? Siguro the, the time availability as to the screening. Mm -hmm. oh, kasi di ito may na-limit eh. Considering sa, sa the number of applicants, applicants na na. Uh -huh. Oo, as much as possible as we wanted to accommodate them all. Because they're they're qualified, they have na kita nga in ana day lang skills because they come out from their cells. Mm -hmm. So lahit sila ilang personality in the home while nga naa sila sa office. So siguro kana lang ang number of participants na pwede na mo ma accommodate. Na kung pwede tas na kung an pwede tas an pa. Uh -huh. What about you, sir? Unsa pa pwede na to himun? You know the greatest challenge that we have in order for us to be able to improve this one. Or sa tan ni mo tama na siya. Actually, uh, every year manggod, ga, ga increase manggod ang atong graduates. Talking about high schools alone, nga na mga graduates na to, natay 7,000 na graduates. High school lang na, not to include the college, existing college students. Now, if you combine that number, dapat kung may katunga, gani ana ang imong ibutang sa SPES. So, ang tanaw ko, uh, I hope uh, ako si manager ani mag mag magsugod at this early kwan after pag process namo sa mga papel maglabi na mi sa mong city council to give us a higher budget for this program kay ngano man makita man nila unsay gamit unsay intention unsay ka importante ani nga program para sa atong mga estudyante not only in terms of helping them nga maka-earn something but Ang importante po ng aspect ang is to train them how to become a responsible person in the respected community. Yes, that's ano uh, I I'd say amen to that. Eh. What about you, Mom Sharon? Ang ano mo ba? Eh, how how can the parents help? Ah, uh, we're now in the community level. How can we parents help our children? You know, develop that that desire. Na kahit na walang wala tay sa buhay, we'll always be encouraged to find a way to support themselves through the PES, uh, PESOS PES program or maybe through other means by which nga pwede di ay sila para lang ma-improve ilang life? Siguro ma'am, i-open na to ilang mind uh, tungod sa kanang panginabuhi ka ron na syempre lisod, di ba? So i-open na to ilang mind at to silang i-motivate to join or mag-apply of work para at least man lang na makakuha silang experience 
and katong tinutong giingon ni sir nga maging responsible sila in the future. Mm -hmm. So yan yung target ultimate goal natin. Not just to send them to school so that they can improve the you know the life of the family but also for them to be developed as good citizens, di po ba? Yun yung ano, napakabilis po ng oras ko dito sa Dynamic Living, the Total You. Tapos na po ang aking isang oras. I'd like to thank my guest, yung mga sudyante kanina, na nag-imbita sa mga kapwa, mga kabataan, na mag-avail sa program na to. Although sabi mo, kulang na kulang, di ba? Sa sana dagdagan natin sana. para marami pang maka-avail. Or maybe invite the private corporations to join hands with you. Para din sila, they can also help. But ang tawag niyan eh, CSR, Civic Social Responsibility. No? So I'd like to thank each one of you. Kat, what is your message of hope to our viewers? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, thank you for inviting us here. Uh, thank you for inviting us here. So um, what we could say is that to our best beneficiaries, uh, love your work, uh, feel, feel the work, and then it would help you mold to a, be a better youth and a better person soon. Okay, what about you, Miss Sharon? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, McDonald's is open anytime, uh, not only for the space crew, but we are also opening uh, our services. Or, pwede mi mag, ano, uh, mag, uh, ano sa pani, pwede pa mi makakuha pag applicant, not only from the space. Ah, so even if mga gikan yeah. sila sa lahi nga areas, not passing through space. Yes. Pwede sila Pwede sila mo direct sa mua, ma'am. Yes, napakaganda, no? Sa so support that, no? What about you, sir? Ay, salamat kayo, doktora, sa wonderful opportunities nga among ma-explain on sa kiniyang program. And we hope sa mga tanan nga nananaw, especially itong parents o mga kabataan, nga na inyong gamay nga nakatunan sa among uh, na-explain sa inyo karun. And we hope for the, the next year, may increase on tang atong number of beneficiaries para dagan-dagan lang atong mapasulod uh, aning uh, program. Anyway, this is not the only program of the bureaucracy, the gunman. Mm -hmm. We have scholarship also from the city government. We have the vocational courses nga uh, offer free sa atong city government. Which so, is in tie up with TESDA. Yes, in tie up so with TESDA. So marami pwede silang doon. Daghan, daghan man actually. Uh -huh. And then kung dili gikaganan mo gi-skwela, simbak ko lang, dili utang daghan. Pero there are those gid nga dili naganan mo yes. gi-skwela. Naman tayo program nga itong CSWD nga makatabang sa mga livelihood nga mga panginanglan nila. So daghan actually ang gina-offer sa itong bureaucracy. All you have to know is Come, visit our city government and inquire para yes. makita so, limo ang mga programa. Para nasli daghang choices, yes. di ba? Yes. It's a matter of li only of communicating with you kung yes. unsay available nga pwede nila. Yes. Remember, dear viewers, that summer is not just a time for fun. It is, can also be a time wherein our young people can be developed and molded, taught how to be real people in the re this real world. And of course, hand in hand with the government, with the private enterprises, and of course, our community, each one of us should do our share. And it is actually very much biblical. At sabi ng Biblia po in Psalm 144 verse 12, that our sons in their youth will also grow up to be well-nurtured plants. And our young daughters will also become um, part of a beautiful palace. They are now, you know, they can be adorned in the palace carved there. And so young people, People, this is an opportunity for all of you to go out, help your families, work and study and benefit from it. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat.